Oh shoot. Okay, everybody, it is finally here, our first camping trip of 2022. We are up here deep in the mountains, above 10,000 feet, about 10,200, here to get into a bunch of trout fishing this weekend. It's Friday evening right now. We're gonna be up here all through Sunday, hoping to fish several different lakes, hoping to get into a wide variety of different kinds of trout. The lake that we're camping at, it's right down there. That's got tiger trout in it, rainbow trout, and cutthroat trout, supposedly, according to the stock report. These lakes up here are stocked. We're also hoping to hit um, a couple different other lakes depending on just how things go. Part one is going to be us fishing this lake. Part two will be us fishing a different lake. These lakes that we're fishing to this weekend, we haven't fished yet on the channel. So I hope you guys enjoy. It's going to be a fun weekend. And we also have special guest appearance, of course. We brought the Gids. This is Gideon. Remember when he was a little puppy up when we were ice fishing? Look how big he's gotten. Hey, buddy. Beautiful dog. He's excited. We're excited. Huh. We're just gonna kind of finish setting up camp and get some firewood and yeah, it should be a fun weekend. Well, we tried, um, couldn't get anything to bite the dry fly. We only got the fish about 30 minutes and the sun's going down quite a bit. Cheyenne's over there getting the rots ready and tending to the fire. I'm standing over here just because we're in the middle of all these trees and the light's pretty poor. So we're gonna cook up some, cook up some of these brats and eat some s'mores and just gonna hang out for the rest of the night. And we'll show you a couple shots of that and then we'll see you back in the morning for some fishing. Can't wait to hit that first light bite. Good morning, everybody. Definitely got a late start because last night Gideon kept me up and it was crazy. Um, I didn't get to bed till about five in the morning. Uh, it's about 9.30 right now. Cheyenne's out there already fishing, out there on the flow tube. So she's gotten a lot of bites. Um, hasn't been able to get anything in. I'm, already, I'm still seeing rises. Last, yesterday evening was crazy. There's so many rises, so. I'm gonna stop wasting time, probably eat a couple chips or something just so I can get out there and uh, try to get on as much of this morning bite as I can before it starts turning hot out here. So I'll be back with you. Still getting bites like crazy. Still haven't landed anything. I don't really wanna, oh, oh I got one. Got one guys, yes. Let's see what I got. Ooh. Oh, oh no. He came off again, but it was a little rainbow. I'm glad you saw it that time. <laughs> Got another one. Feels small. Oh. Okay. Looks like a bow. Woo! All right, dinner. Check this guy out. Ooh. I don't want to lose him. Lose dinner. There he is. Ooh, he's slimy. Woo! Got one. Doesn't feel exceptionally large, but I got one. Rainbow on a rainbow there. I'm gonna go ahead and let this one go. He's pretty tiny. He needs to, he needs to grow up a little bit. Oop. There he goes. There you go, buddy. You gonna go? Oh yeah. Belly boat's just getting acclimated, getting the flippers on, and it's just like yesterday evening. Um, I'm just been sitting here, getting my uh, hopper dropper set up, going with two nymphs, but it just sounds like there's people paddling behind me. There's so many fish jumping, it's insane. I can see damselflies flying all over the place. 
So that's gonna be my hopper, the indicator portion. And then last night when I was walking around in here, I saw a whole lot of um, caddis nymphs kind of walking around in the water with their little, those little things they make on the back of them. So I got that and I got a scud. So matching the hatch and then scuds up at high elevation lakes when there's vegetation out in the water, that's always a winner. So we'll see what happens. Um, I'm really excited though to get out in that vegetation and really start casting. So let's get out there and let's try to get after some fish for dinner. Got one. Fighting hard, not sure what it is yet. I think it might be a rainbow though. Nice size bow. Oh, sweet, you popped off too. Well, let me show you guys this and then I'm gonna go meet up with Cheyenne. She's over there on the other side of the lake. Really pretty one. Some of these reeds though are about as thick as a carpet. I kicked into it and I was just like, I can't even kick through this. Oh, I had one. I looked back, there's a, a damselfly landed on my hand. And I looked back and my thing was gone. Got one. No, don't go. He's trying to get into those weeds so bad. Yep, you got the scud. Oh no, he popped. All right, guys, got one on my Skeeto. They're pulling through these weeds. Oh, he's right in the weeds. Oh, buddy. Got him. Oh, gosh. Come on, buddy. So Cheyenne's on over there, everybody. Her battery just died, so hopefully she can show you the catch. Battery's about to croak, but I caught one on my mosquito. Nice little rainbow on my mosquito there. So I didn't talk too much before I started casting my mosquito, but I'm, t I'm using one of the mosquitoes that I tied and it doesn't float for very long. So <laughs> I gotta use this floaty stuff here like every 15 seconds to make sure it floats. But that's what's been working. And I can tell you there are plenty of mosquitoes up here, so that's probably why that worked. These damselflies are outrageous. There's a zillion of them. So Tyler made the right call there for sure. What in the world? Okay. Oh, that one. The ultra finesse. Oh yeah. My other rainbow. The rainbows in here are super pretty though. Yeah, Give them that. Cheyenne's on. All right. Got one too. Woohoo, double ups. All right. Oh no, he popped off. Oh. <laughs> anyway, that one was on the, the micro attack here. So. All the things I'm working, I'm using today are working. Yay! Oh man, that one's on the scud too. Woo! Well, they are crushing the scud, everybody. Scud's a winner. All three flies have gotten bites, so all three seem to be winners. Oh my God, I love fly fishing in the mountains. It's a better size one, I think. Got him. Oh no, I don't. All right, got him, jeez. Look at that, you guys, right there, scud. Oh, nice and healthy. Should be some good eats. He's on the, uh, he's on the caddis fly nymph. Got him, rainbow. Rainbows are always so slimy and ready to get out. Oh, just like that. Oh God, he's in my fly line. All right, everybody, we are back. Just kind of relaxing. We're gonna do the catch and cook portion of things uh, later on this evening for dinner. 
right now we're just gonna get some hot dogs out and just kind of chill and enjoy the fire and just enjoy this nice weather enjoy this beautiful scenery we're gonna get back to fishing later on um, after lunch uh, probably hang out with the dog a little bit take him on a walk but then for part two tomorrow's video just to kind of give you a sneak preview we're gonna be fishing another lake and hopefully going for some other species besides rainbow trout um, this lake does t t we mentioned this in the intro I think but this lake does have tiger trout in it too at least it says it does so this e uh, afternoon and evening is gonna be really about trying to find them but the fire's roaring and Cheyenne's getting the, the brats out and yeah, stay tuned everybody. Hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. Okay everybody, lunch time is over. Hangout time is over at the campsite. Gideon is asleep. So it is time to try to get the second part of this mission done for today. Let's try to get a tiger trout. We already got dinner. Um, we're gonna work over to the other side of the lake. We were hiking around earlier. We found an inlet, so Hopefully that's where the tiger trout are hanging out. So wish us luck. We're gonna to try to obviously get some fish on the way over there. So stay tuned. Got one. We got the caddis nymph. Honestly, all three flies have been getting a lot of action. Another beautiful rainbow. Pretty. Oh. Got another one. A caddis nymph, and then below that I have a scud, freshwater shrimp. It's another one. Slaying these bows over to the other end of the lake toward where the little creek seems to be flowing in. Got one. I was about to say, I've been getting a lot of bites or attempts of bites on my damselfly. But, oh! Oh, yeah. Ooh! Wow. I thought that fish was going to be so much bigger. Oh. Maybe that's why he's foul hooked. Jeez, it's not a bad sized fish either. Oh. Yeah, I got him right there in the side. There we go. Popped right out. Pretty. All right, my line's super tangled and it's probably getting more tangled, so here's that. Oh, boy. Yeah, as soon as I, as soon as I threw that, it got it. <laughs> All right, well, I didn't think I had one, but evidently I've got one. <laughs> All right. All right, creeping into the inlet. Way more shallow over here. All right, so I'll, I'm actually, right now, you guys, kicking back and my feet are touching the bottom. It's really shallow back here. I don't know if there's gonna be anything back here. If there is, it's probably gonna be pretty small. As I keep creeping back, it's getting shallower and shallower. Ooh, ooh I had a good one. I'm sure you saw that one. Yep, I got it. There you go. Feels a little better, oh. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. He popped off too. Nice. Do you see this? They are just destroying my minnows. Dang it. It's yanking the tails right off. <laughs> I'm going to give it a few more casts, but I'm able to touch bottom almost right where I'm at too. I'm mean, nicking it here and there. No rises, oh, whoa. I just saw a good sized fish in the reeds over there, just rose on something.
Ooh. I have no idea what that is, but it's a good sized fish. Got the damselfly. Hoping for a tiger maybe, or maybe even a cutthroat. Ooh. That's a good sized fish. Got some weeds too. I'm pretty sure that was that big fish that was over there though. Oh shoot. Oh God. Yeah, it's a good one. That was freaking sweet. There I am talking about that there's probably nothing good back here. Biggest fish of the trip so far. Please stay on. Jeez. Oh yeah, that's huge. Woo! It's a huge rainbow. Gosh, he choked this damselfly. Yeah, he choked that thing. That thing's halfway down his mouth. This thing is so freaking big. Oh my gosh. Definitely my PB on the fly. I'm trying to keep him in the water as much as I can. I might just have to cut this. All right, everyone. So unfortunately, I cannot get this guy to kick off. I mean, I didn't have him out of the water very long. Really long at all. I have him on a fly. He didn't go down his gut or anything like that. It was on his tongue. Um, I've been sitting here for about the past 15 minutes trying to revive him. Most of the time that that hook was in his mouth, I don't think I had him out of the water for any more than five or six seconds. So kind of strange, but if I can't get this guy revived, I'm just going to wind up keeping him and eating him. At least it's not like a master angler or anything. It's a really good sized fish, 20 incher, but my other PB, I'll leave that link above. That was on a cutthroat trout. At first, I thought maybe I had a tiger or something because look at the top end of it. It's all brown. Look at that. It's a really beautiful fish. Shame that... Shame that I can't get him revived right now. Again, hopefully I can. If not, at least it'll be a good meal. God, look at this beast. One more time. Look at that thing. I mean, it's a monster. One more time. And we're going to eat it. Yeah. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Back here at camp. We've actually been chilling here for a few hours since we've gotten off the water, eating some s'mores, relaxed with the dog. Actually went around and did a little exploring as well. Now that it's evening time, it's about time to cook up these fish. Oh yeah. We're just down by the lake. Got several of them cleaned up. We're gonna save a couple more for tomorrow. Got some embers going over there. Got some rocks put in the fire so I can put my cast iron pan down. Cheyenne's got a bit of a headache. So she's just kind of resting up over in the tent. So you may or may not see her again tonight. But let's get to cooking this fish. Originally, we were planning on doing these rainbow trout and foil. Um, we forgot the foil. So we do have this cast iron pan here. Um, I'm gonna put a light base of oil on this and then I'm just gonna put them in there on the fire. So not the typical way that I do rainbow trout, but I'm sure this is gonna be delicious. Fire roasted trout's always good. So we're gonna do a light salt and pepper seasoning on these. And after that, then we're just gonna put it in there. So I'll get you some shots of that. Now you might be thinking to yourself right now that that's, when, that's for Cheyenne and these two are for me. This is actually gonna be for Gideon. Um, these two are gonna be for me. That one's completely unseasoned. So I'm gonna let that obviously cool down a little bit before I give it to Gideon, but let's get into a taste test on this. Skin's right where you want it to be. Mmm. 
don't know if you can see my face right now or not, guys, but that is so good. It's one of my favorite parts about camping. Not just the fishing, of course, but eating some of what you catch. So good. Mm, I could eat this all freaking night. All right, everybody, so I'm about to go make myself comfortable, eat the rest of these fish, drink some pop, eat some chips, just relax and enjoy the sunset. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful evening out here in Colorado. So hopefully you guys enjoyed part one. This was a really, really fun time out for our first camping trip of 2022. Lots and lots of action. Unfortunately, couldn't get any of the tiger trout, but that's how it goes sometimes. I wish Cheyenne could be out here as well, but like I said, she has a little bit of a headache right now, so she's laying down. We're gonna wake up and we've decided we had a couple options for part two. You guys are gonna obviously see that for the next episode, but we're gonna be hiking up to a lake that's supposed to be just filled with cutthroat. Um, never fished it just like this lake here, but we're just gonna test it out. We're gonna hike with the belly boats and in our waders, so hopefully the hike isn't too grueling. I scattered it out with my drone, so it shouldn't be too bad. But yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe if you're new. And until next time, you guys, Team Cough signing out.